Hello, it's been a while. I think the last place I left you was I had really hurt my finger. Do you remember? And I wouldn't blame you if you didn't, it's not important. But it was getting to the point where I was unable to draw, so that's kind of partly why I disappeared, is because I did have a bit of a panic thinking, if I can't draw, how do I bring out new things and prep for shop updates and things? But over that period, I was like trying to not draw because my finger was so painful that in the end, I actually went and got it x-rayed and I was expecting maybe a tiny chip or a fracture, um, but it came back and it was clear. There was nothing wrong with it. And therein lay the question, why does it hurt so much? And in the end, we just assumed it was just a badly bruised bone or something, but it still hurts a little bit. Like, it twinges, but it's, it's fine. I can draw again, I've been packing orders, everything's kind of gone back to as normal as it can be. I went on holiday last month, we went on a retreat to Hempstall Farm, there's a video on my channel if you'd like to see more behind the scenes of that very much needed break. And aside from that what's been going on is I've been prepping and collecting everything together for a big shop update and I don't think I've ever had so much new stock arrive in my studio in such a small space of time. The studio is it's very organised at the moment simply because we have the shop update happening tomorrow which is when I will post this video to go alongside that so if there's anything that you spot in this video it's all going into the shop and it will be live by the time you see this. But the reason that this vlog has been all over the place is my toddler has decided to start dropping his naps but the general consensus and the feedback I've been collecting from you guys is that you actually like to see the behind the scenes of trying to run a small business alongside motherhood so if you are here for that you know what to do the subscribe button is there if you'd like to come along for the journey if this is the first video of mine that you're watching uh, my name's Ellis I'm an illustrator from England uh, Leicestershire and this is what we do here we are trying to make it work we're trying to muddle on through and utilize two or three hours in the evenings to try and keep our business running if you don't laugh you'll cry that is my general philosophy here on the channel and we're also about to enter spooky season so we're about to get really cozy and on that note i'm going to show you everything that's been going on and happening over the last three months there's so many new products i am just prepping my patron boxes so i've got the boxes here i need to pack them but i thought i'd show you what's inside the june box uh, for my patrons because I'm really pleased with this little collection and I thought I'd show it to you and I'll just grab a random one so this is the sticker for June it's a clear sticker so once you remove the background this little cutie will be clear so um, there won't be a background with her but I just thought she was super adorable and there's also I've made my patrons a little zine so this is exclusive to my patrons it's just a zine that contains um, Sort of all of the doodles and scribbles and illustrations behind the cottage core collection and some thoughts on slow living i'd like to do more of these as you can probably see the card is a little bit too thick so i want to here we go i've actually scored the card properly and folded it properly with a proper scoring tool but the card is just so thick that when the card is folded in this clever little way to make a little booklet uh, I won't show it to you because I wanted it to be a little surprise for my patrons inside but I think the card is a bit too thick so I'm gonna, when I do my next one I'm going to use a slightly thinner card and see if it folds a bit better because it's quite bulky but I do really love it and I hope my patrons do as well and then this is actually one of the pages from inside the zine it's got a cute little um, quote here from the secret garden my camera's getting worse and worse at focusing she made herself stronger by fighting the wind. I just thought that was a really cute quote to go alongside this illustration and um, I've printed it onto a really lovely textured card. don't know if you can see that. Then I've also made them some sticker sheets of the Cottage Core stickers that weren't made into big stickers for the Kickstarter. I thought I'd reuse the illustrations and make a little sheet for my patrons so that's exclusive to them as well these aren't coming to the shop they're just something nice that i wanted to make for my patrons and then the print like the main print because they get a print every month is this one which is actually inspired by my son and my love of foxes and i really wanted to um 
work on my scenery a lot more. It's got a lovely hammered texture to it. It's a gesso cardstock and it's beautiful. And I thought I'd get an A5 one this month. Normally I do like A6, but I just wanted to do one a little bit bigger this month. And yeah, that's the little collection that everyone will be getting. And this is them all wrapped up in a cute little bundle. I'm really happy with these and I hope my patrons enjoy unboxing them. <laughs>
Ages. Normally I have either a 4, a 5 or a 6, but these are mini ones. This size actually is a bit bigger than the normal mini ones, but I noticed that sometimes these are more expensive than the A6 ones, but they're smaller. But I managed to find a new supplier to get some from, and I actually have a nice big stack here of the A6 ones and the mini ones and I still have all of these left over from the Kickstarter but I ran out of the smaller boxes um I do have so much to sort through so much stock to find a home for I got restock of the Fox washi tapes uh, with my washi tape order so I have lots and lots left in stock now both on Etsy and in my normal shop and another one that I restocked was the Wolves one, which was always very really popular, so I have lots and lots of these ones now. Some of my washi tapes live in these drawers still, so especially if there's not as many of them, and there's some more Wolves here, just, oh, what is this, Alice? I've also been giving these ones away, because I'm discontinuing those ones, um, but this is where like they live when I'm down to my last few. I do have some up here as well, and then I have these boxes that I've got the keychains in. But what I need to do is go through all of the keychains because I don't have many of those left, and then I've actually reserved this space here for the pins to go on. This is most unexpected, but I've got more card clasps. Um, I was running out, so these are the ones I was using before, and this is all I had left. And I loved the green, um, but I did update my handwritten like font logo um, slightly to be a bit more, a bit more crisp, and a bit more um, representing of the of the brand I guess and I just wanted to go with black because it just goes with everything I noticed with the green I really liked it but sometimes it didn't look quite right on um, you know various designs if a green clashed with something whereas black will go with everything so I've got these ones because as we now enter the last sort of quarter of the year I'm going to be putting out some festive designs 
and this is where I'm currently at with my sketchbook so I don't have very many pages left and I've still got three days of August left to try and fill this it's just a little challenge I've set for myself to see if I can get this one completed I shouldn't have spoken my son's awake <laughs> oh no so most have arrived yesterday for the shop update. I have a restock of these notebooks which went down really well last time. And I also have these ones, so the little little field mouse, the artwork seems to be much clearer without the cover over the top. Which is the only thing I don't like about these, the protective cover, is it just dulls the artwork ever so slightly, but you can see it again here. I think I'm actually gonna get a different kind of notebook going forwards, but these ones I love that they're dotted, I just think they're a little bit different and they'd be great for bullet journaling as well. But I do have some of those, some of these. I then have a new wooden pin of this little critter. It's a little uh, squirrel with a uh, goldfinch. I have these stickers which are an older Patreon design. I just had some spares left over. I have a restock of fox lanyards, strawberry lanyards and then I also got some total lanyards as well. I need to think of a way to package these I think I might just design like a, a paper band to like go around and like hold it all together just so it's presented a bit nicely because at the minute I've just been popping them in the boxes as they are and they just feel a bit unfinished then I have these mouse mats I just couldn't resist getting a little bear mixing in the forest mouse mat I do also have a restock this is my mouse mat that I've been using as a mouse and mouse mat but I do have a restock of these as well because they sold out last time too so I've got those coming the Christmas decoration that you've seen me peeling these are super cute but I've asked my patrons when I should add these to the shop and they've said leave it for a Christmas update um, so I'm going to do another shop update at like end of September, early October. I am going to photograph it now which is why it's on my tray along with everything else because all of this needs to go and be photographed now so that I've got the pictures ready for the shop update and then I can add it with the next shop update and then I do of course have the new washi tapes that I still need to photograph. So there's five new washi tapes, these ones are going to be my um, ones to keep. I always keep a tape for myself, a tape or two, and they are what I use to take the images, like the sample images for the website so that you can see the design laid out and unrolled. So yeah, that's my job for this morning whilst Little Bear is with his grandma, because trying to do this with my toddler around is a bit of a nightmare. So I'm going to go do this now and get it finished.